Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's go over switch. Okay, so switch is similar to checkbox in that there is two, there are two states to it, off and on or true and false. And um, it's a, I'm gonna just go over a little bit of something else um, because it's just important because I'm still messing up a little bit on this state thing. Okay, so um, the, the idea of the state. So I just wanna go over it a few more times just to really make it sink in. All right, so um, same thing as before. We have the scaffold button bar. I'm gonna have a child switch and a text. So the switch is here and the text is here. Here are the properties. I'm gonna say bool the val, variable val is gonna be true. And the message string message is gonna be this is true. I like to always have that a little bit so it keeps me, um, it gives me feedback in terms of what is going on here. On change to bool e, something e and then i'm just going to change the color to colors dot green there's a bunch of other different properties that we have um actually there are a bunch of other things i can't pull them up at this point in time I'm not sure what happened right there active color there's like active other type of stuff um they weren't really that important these are the main properties that we have um, when we get a little bit fancy into making some of these applications maybe they'll be helpful but right now we're just learning the basics so here we have let's run this again it's baseline when I change the state if this is true then it'll type this is true and val equals true and e equals true that's a little weird wait a minute if this is true then it's gonna say this is true and this is true. Why is that? Well, let's flip the switch and see what actually happens. This is actually working. This is false and this is true. So here what's happening is when I, it, this value is true. So bool here is true. I click it to false and on changed. After I change it to false, false is being sent. Okay, so false is being sent here. In the checkbox one, I just said that uh, um, checkbox value is the opposite. So I didn't really have to know exactly what the state was. This one I have to know, is it true or is it false? Okay, so it's a little bit different if you wanna to go to that video and see how it's a little bit different because this is what, again, threw me off. So it changes the state. The state is changed, it is false i change click on it it changes to true comes down here and says this is true mess changes it to this is true and then it changes the values to true as well okay so it changes this message and it changes this also so in the order of things starts off as true i click on it the changed value goes here this is false comes down here, it prints out this is false, then it takes the value of false, and so it turns it off, and then E is false. I'm not sure why I'm even typing E. E doesn't make a difference. And E doesn't make a difference there. Okay, so let's run that again. So in the order of things, what's happening is when I click this button, this is changing first, and this is changing second. So that's the behavior we have to be aware of. So again, it's false. I click it to true. It was changed. So true, because it was false, it changed to true. True is being sent down, prints the message, and it changes the value to true, right? And then I click the opposite again. It's true. I click it to false. False is being sent through, and then val is equal to false. So e is false and then val is equal to false right there. You could have put, I could have put val equals e, val equals e, and that would have done the same thing. So it would make it maybe a little bit easier to read if that way, right? So it's true, false, true, false. So it, after the changed, changed state, this gets changed, it gets sent down inside of here, just the opposite, and basically it, it goes from there, okay? so. I hope that was clear, work in progress, still learning a little bit about it. So I think that's the basics of this switch. It's again, similar to the checkbox. It looks a little different, can be different. Um, 
under the circumstances of whatever app you want to build. But at the same time, let's keep in mind the concept of the set state. This um, concept is this message right here, this E, this value gets sent only after the state is changed to the other position. Okay, thank you very much.